In this lecture, I would like to talk about the various stages of a startup. We have previously talked about the early stages of a startup, how to find the product market fit and how to grow the startup. It, start, it starts with the ideation phase, where you define the opportunity and create the business idea. And then you, f you form the team, you, f you try to find the co-founders and the members, so you have this team, membership, team formation stage. And then you have this customer discovery and the early traction stage. In the previous videos, I have mentioned several examples for that. And once you have traction, once you have a minimum viable product, and you can prove that you have a workable prototype and you can show that your business idea has some potential, then there are some alternatives in this uh, startup world. One of the alternatives is the acceleration programs. These programs, as I have mentioned earlier in, uh, in, in, in a video, I, I talk about a program called Y Combinator. This is one of the most famous examples. In Turkey, there are also other acceleration programs belonging to universities and other private institutions as well. One of them is Startup Bootcamp, for example. When you apply to these acceleration programs, it typically starts with a selection panel where all those startups pitch their business ideas and their committed decides on which uh, startups, which founders to include in the program. And once you're accepted, uh, you are assigned an office space and also you are, uh, you are allowed to stay there up to three, three months, three to four months, and you work on your idea to improve, to perfect your uh, idea and your growth. So you typically, you work with the mentors and then the acceleration program helps you to uh, to move as quickly as possible. So you can improve your idea while you are within the program. And at the end of the program, you pitch your uh, latest uh, improvements. You pitch the latest stage to the uh, investors in the acceleration program. And then uh, they might assign you or they might help you to get some uh, investment from selected partners and investors. Uh, or the program itself can fund you. So in the case of Y Combinator, Y Combinator uh, invests around $150,000 for the startups and in return gets around 8 to 10%. So it's below 10%. So it's also called a kind of seed ca capital. So it's for seeding. It's for the, uh, it's like a, it, it, your startup is a seed. So we do not know yet if, if it will nurture, if it will go big, it will grow or not. Okay, so acceleration program just help you iterate as quickly as possible with the minimum uh, with the minimum amount of time and capital. And there are also incubator programs. Incubator programs are similar to accelerator programs. The difference is in incubation programs are much longer than accelerator programs. So you kind of have an office have an office space in one of the incubator programs. Uh, typically, it's, it lasts between one year to two years, the incubator program, so you do not have to worry about the office space, rents and utilities. In Turkey, for example, Koske provides this a government agency, which is for the small and medium-sized enterprises, uh, provides this kind of technology development centers as incubators. Or in Silicon Valley, there's, there are many examples of that. One of them is plug and play uh, incubation centers where you are assigned a desk and a, a mentors and other startups. So you have this networking uh, capabilities there in the same environment. So you work with other startups, so you are trying to develop your own. So uh, it helps you to develop and iterate your business as well, but in a longer term. There are also marketplaces and competitions. So there are some startup competitions, idea competitions. You can apply to those and they might have some benefits for you in terms of exposure, in terms of network, or in terms of uh, the price. So these are possible. Or there are some marketplaces, like there is at-home marketplace in Turkey, uh, which means seed, for the, for the seed startup, seed ideas. In these marketplaces, again, you have exposure to various uh, shareholders in the, in the startup entrepreneurial ecosystem, to investors and also to other companies and startups and corporations. So, uh, and also you have some uh, PR, 
for uh, for being in the in the marketplace. For example, at Tohum, when we first started in 2008, it it just started with 10 startups, with 10 com companies. So, but this year it got applications in thousands of uh, from thousands of people from tens of different countries, not only from Turkey. And in their latest event, in the startup uh, Istanbul event, they invited various uh, professors or various uh, people, various investors from Silicon Valley and all over the world. And uh, there was not even one Turkish startup. So everyone was applying it from uh, other countries. So I'm telling this because it shows the huge growing interest on startups and the industry's uh, evolvement. And once you pass this early traction stage, uh, or once you have this idea, I mean, you can go in parallel or you can just skip incubation, acceleration, marketplace and competitions, and you can just start with the early financing. In the early financing, there are various opportunities. First of all, one key suggestion is bootstrapping. Bootstrapping means that you have to, or you should, uh, you should look at your own resources. How can you minimize your costs while sustaining your life and your business at the same time? So uh, you need to find a way. So you need to find a way to cut the costs and. Uh, for sure, it must be for a certain time, so uh, otherwise it would not have been successful, but uh, for bootstrapping, so you can allocate some uh, budget for your startup. Instead of going to the restaurant outside, you can minimize your cost and you can allocate uh, that extra uh, dollar that you save for your startup. So this is one example to bootstrapping. Another one is you can collect money from three Fs, we call them as friends, family, and fools. So you can you can ask uh, you can ask funding for your vision uh, from these three types of people. I mean, your friends they believe in you, they want you to succeed. Your family they want you to succeed. Or uh, as I mean, finally it is called as fools or people. I mean who might not calculate the risks or who are not sophisticated investors, but they just would like to spend money. They just would like to invest. So uh, these are generally in small amounts of money, but this might help you to develop, uh, to develop your initial idea for the next stage. And another financing option is the angel investment. Actually, this is the uh, earliest form of uh, systematic investment and angel investments uh, are typically in the range between twenty thousand dollars to maybe a million dollars for angel investment so it is uh, in financial terms they make the investment in return uh, they make the investment as convertible debt Conver convertible debt means actually this is a loan to the company but the company might pay back the loan but in reality, the angel investor hopes to get an equity stake in the company in the later stages when the company gets valued more. Okay, uh, so if the company fails, so it it doesn't owe any money to the angel investor. But if the company uh, becomes successful, then the angel investor has an option to convert this debt into equity. Okay, so that's also an important turn uh, to know about it. And there are also angel investment networks. So these are in uh, high, uh, high rise, high demand uh, in Turkey as well in the last few years, in the recent years. So angel investors, instead of angel investors talking to individual startups by themselves, they enroll to one of these networks. And when startups apply to these networks to pitch their ideas, the, these networks invite the angel investors to listen to the uh, startup founders and then if they like any idea, they invest on it. For example, I talk about the Butigo case study in, uh, in, in the previous lectures. Butigo has a similar example for that. Galata Business Angels, a business angel network in uh, Turkey, invited Butigo to present uh, in, their, in one of their events and after their presentation, 
one of the uh, angel investors got interested in Butigo. So that's how it works. I mean, after their pitch, uh, 212 Capital wanted to invest in Butigo, and this is how they uh, followed the presentation. Okay, once you get your first customer, or once you get your first, first investor, uh, once you start to spend money, then it means that you need to set up your company. So, I mean, until this stage, I mean, if you do not require to uh, issue an invoice or uh, if you are not required to pay uh, anything, I mean, you do not have to set up the company until you have some traction or something to show as a working prototype. But at some stage, you have to. You have to set up the company. At this stage, you have to decide whether it will be a limited liability company or uh, another form of company. So this is another expertise area. You need to study your, uh, you need to do your homework on that. And after that, after you prove your uh, company is successful, then the next stage is first round capital. Then and at this stage, you can go to a VC company, a venture capital company, and. Uh, in the venture ca capital company, generally the uh, investments are uh, from, I mean, in the hundred thousands of dollars to tens of millions of dollars. Generally, we can say, I mean, it's, uh, on average, it's around one to two million dollars, uh, the, the investments. And it can go in rounds. So, first of all, after the uh, angel investment stage, uh, you can go for the first round of uh, financing and we, and we call it as Serie A investment. And second round is uh, Serie B investment, Serie C investment. Okay, second, third and fourth round of financing. There are a few terms here to know about it. VC firms look at the valuation of the company, but there are two valuations. One of them is the pre-money valuation, another is the post-money valuation. Pre-money valuation is before the VC company puts their money into the company, injects their money into the company. And, and post money is after they inject money into the company. And the injection can be in terms of increasing the total shares, total stocks of the company, or it can be uh, buying out some of the shares of the existing shareholders in the company. So uh, both cases have different implications. And if it is a capital injection, uh, it's, if it's an extra cash, then it means that this will cause dilution in the existing shareholders of the company. So if, uh, let's say, you have 40% uh, of the company and you get some uh, investment to your company, with the share dilution, it might mean that your 40% might go to 30% or 20% uh, shares. So because the total number of shares is increasing and your shares are relatively small in this case. So uh, this is also an important factor to decide on the uh, percentage of share percentages. And there are also other uh, rights of the investors and the shareholders which are included in the due diligence, due diligence stage during the investment. Due diligence means uh, actually looking at the company's records, the financial and accounting records, and also uh, there are some uh, rights which you define between the investors and the company. One of the rights is, for example, the refu uh, first refusal right, for example. Uh, who will have the first refusal right? Who will be the uh, decision, uh, decision maker? Uh, who will make the decision? So these are important terms to know, which I suggest you to uh, study and uh, look at those terms. And I will be sharing some uh, links about it uh, in, the, in, in the link section. And after second, third, and fourth round of financing, Investors look for the exit options. So why are you working on this idea? Investors say, okay, hey, you need to grow this company. And once you grow, either our aim is to sell it to a private equity company or to a larger company. 
as part of an M&A deal, merger and acquisition deal, or we can go for an IPO. I mean, in the US, we see many examples of an IPO, initial public offering. In Turkey, there are not many. Uh, or other companies, other startups might buy out your uh, company. So these are the exit options where the investors look for the uh, maximum amount of money, maximum return on investment for their capital they injected. Here I would like to show an example from a TV show called Shark Tank in US and Dragon Stand in other countries. Uh, actually, we had this show in uh, Turkey as well. I, mean, I like this show because it summarizes uh, this situation in a very basic uh, and understandable way. An entrepreneur comes to the stage, he talks about his business or idea, and at the end he says, okay, I need to develop this, uh, I need to develop marketing, I need to develop this product, I need licensing, uh, I need R&D, so I need patents. So all these needs, the, uh, the entrepreneur pitching his idea is short on money. That's why he is seeking for additional financing. And he's saying, that, okay, I need $200,000, I need a million dollars. And the investors ask, okay, how much are you willing to give in return for a million dollars? So that's a very uh, basic term of trading for your uh, company. So you pitch your business and in return, investors say, okay, I will give $1 million and I will get 30% of your company in return. And they will tell you how much they will be able to help you uh, with your idea. So I suggest you to watch episodes of this show if you haven't already. And one important point here is that pitching of your idea. So there is a concept called elevator pitch, which means that what if you are in an elevator alone with a wealthy individual or an angel investor and he asks you, okay, what are you doing? So you need to able to tell about your uh, idea as sh in the in the shortest time possible, maybe 30 seconds, maybe uh, one minute, uh, and you need to tell them, okay, we are in delivery business, we are in e-commerce business, and we are. Uh, this is what makes us different. This is what we do, uh, and this is how we position ourselves, and this is what we need. And I hope to talk to you further. So you need to pitch your idea uh, in the elevator form. Also, you need to pitch your idea in the investor form. So you need. You need to have different versions of your pitching. Uh, one minute version, three minute, five minute, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour pitch. So uh, you need to be prepared uh, for telling about your business and idea and getting reactions in return.